that is a view to wake up to. We have properly lucked out on this one. What a place to wake up in the morning. Absolutely incredible. Just absolutely stunning. If it weren't for the incredible fjords and twisties we're about to go and look at, it'd almost be a shame to leave. And Moses said unto the fjords, you will hear the roar of my triumph. Oh, Honda. Ooh, there's a warm patch. That's what you don't want to hear when you climb into bed with a girl, isn't it? I suppose it depends on the origin of the warm patch and the location. <laughs> yeah, we've opted for no breakfast yet today, so we're going to stop and get a coffee here and have a view over the hills. How lovely is that then? there with the motorcycles, we can park there. It's shut, isn't it? Wow, look at that. Yeah. Do my good citizen thing and put this in the bin. Doesn't need to be wafting across the fjord, does it? Yeah, well, there's nothing here then. Well, that's disappointing. The cafe isn't even open yet. It's the dangers of leaving too early. Never mind. Ready to rock, and I think my bike is becoming more reticent to start every time. sheep. Oi Nigel, have you been motorbike surfing again? Have I told you about running in front of the motorbikes? You've got to be careful because their front tyres are hot, sticky and it burns your ass. What? Like a vindaloo, Mum? An ambulance? Oh yeah, part of the bike race, I imagine. Yeah, so that, that sign we saw yesterday about this road being closed for a bike race, that must be today, so it's a good job we've got out early. Look at that, that's just... 
It's special, isn't it? Just all of the wow. Oh, here's the stones. The weird stones of Vanbalanda Druk. <laughs> Quite cool though, wouldn't it? Bit of, bit of sunset action up here. Maybe we should have done that instead of having dirty, dirty beers. <laughs> I can have sunset action with my stepdad if I want. Okay, well, hang on, it rides a bit. Bit of a, a dodgy subject as well, isn't it? Enough room between us for Jesus. Oh, it's, it's equally as spectacular in this direction as it was the other way, isn't it? <laughs> that was really funny. As I went over the, the griddle, he went... <laughs> so it sounded like he was making the sound that I would make. <laughs> I must say as well that I think on these roads I really don't mind the 80 km speed limit. I mean, the scenery helps, but the roads themselves, they're so bendy. Now, these videos are going to be so long though, I'm not going to be able to delete anything out. That's bloody awesome, isn't it? What a spot! Jesus! Maybe we'll have to try camping next time. A bit of shit though when you come out to do some wild camping in the middle of nowhere and you end up with loads of dickheads around you when you wake up. Thank you. On the whole, people are pretty good, I think, actually, about letting us pass. The worst have been those bikers yesterday. It just does not look like it could be real. It seems like that, that's the way it looks everywhere that I go on the mountains, but I think this is next level. It's like a CGI. The perfect reflections and all the, the green and the stones. Amazing. Look at that, the FJR Club. I think that's the end of the, uh, the, the mountain pass bit because that was the barrier that they closed in the winter. Look at that. Another marshal. Oh, it's cold over here. Look at the steam off the fields there. I suppose technically it would be mist, wouldn't it? Not steam. Scotch mist. If that's the finish line, I think they must have run out of budget. Oh, do you know what? I think we're going entirely the wrong way because there was a turn off before the main road. Here we go, pulling here on this skip. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm thinking the same thing. It looks spectacular, but what we saw yesterday was spectacular, but I don't know if it's the same spectacular. Speak check. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I thought I'd put my stand down. Bollocks. Yep. It went on the foot peg though, so oh, touched it there. Oh, cheers for that. Yeah, you've done it for me more than I have. I was <laughs> well, sure I put the stand down. Bloody hell! You okay? Yeah, 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 fine. We fouls? Yes, we fouls. We turned too early. Oh, did we? We're not at the main road yet. Your love 
The, uh, the socket was pulled out of my audio recorder as well, so that's going to be a purely scenic section with only one camera. <laughs> There's a comedy of friggin' errors. You'd think I'd been doing this for, for a couple of weeks, wouldn't you? Jesus, I just can't get it right. Novice. Right then, time for a late breakfast. Bloody hell. Bank Marvers. My stomach's working its way up my throat already. Well, my crash bar really did its job well then, and the panniers actually helped. I've just got one tiny little spot on the engine casing, which considering it's stripped of paint anyway. So you're not too bothered about that then? Obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a bit bothered, but yeah, it could be worse. I'd be sitting at the side of the road snobbing again. <laughs> right, let's do it. Oh, it's all right. It's my turn probably. <laughs> yep, everybody, check out Andy Man Cam. Spreading the word, spreading the love. Well, there we go. That's breakfast finished at 12 o'clock. Great work by us. So it's a real shame that cafe at the top wasn't open, but I had a, a nice paper cup of coffee, quite small, and a, an old waffle, because she had waffles in the display thing, and I thought they were just for display. And I said to her, do you make the waffles fresh? She said, yes, yes, because she is Borat, obviously. Um, the, Nor the Norwegian checkout girl will be played by Borat in this sketch. Uh, yes, yes, we make fresh. 
Um, so I said, yeah, I'll have one of those, please. So she just took the dried old curly one out of the display and stuck it in the toaster. So it was more refreshed than freshly made. And then she said to me, do you want brown cheese? Oh, Jesus, it sounds like you should throw it in the bin. But turns out brown cheese, highly recommended. Definitely try it out. It's actually sweet. Anyway, lunch done. And that, with the realization that the audio from Ian's helmet was complete toss, so there's going to be no audio from Ian at all. I'm just going to have to relay his hilarious quips and jokes. Uh, but yeah, it, the trip continues. So let's go and haul in some more twisties and see some more unbelievable sights. Because so far, it has just been astonishingly good. Would you say it's bucket list worthy, Ian? <laughs> yeah, give, give the camera a big thumbs up. No, 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 do, do your, you've got one on your bike. Give your camera a thumbs up. <laughs> no point waving at my camera, it's miles away because you're back in granddad mode. Right then, 12 and a half k's till the next corner. Uh, sorry, turning. Hopefully there'll be more corners between now and then. <laughs> it's special, isn't it? That's awesome. This rucker gear is bloody brilliant. Incidentally, I would like to point out at this juncture that Ian is rocking the exact same suit that I am, allegedly based upon my recommendation, obviously in a different colour because we didn't want to be team gear. So, there you go. That's, that's how good this rucker stuff is. If I can convince the old chap back there to a splash a grand and a half on his gear. It's got to be good shit. Although the test will come in the next few, by like, three, four days when apparently it's supposed to rain a shit ton. So we'll see. I mean, I'm confident because I've already had it in the rain and I thought it was bloody brilliant. Oh, it says we've got to come in here, but I think this is for the fuel stop that we no longer need. Uh, we, I have to get the, the waypoint, otherwise I need to get the phone out. Weak point of the beeline, if you've programmed in fuel stops that you don't then use, it'll keep sending us back round, it doesn't skip waypoints. So we'll just do a... just buzz the tower. There we go, they know we're here, have rung the bell. Oh, and then apparently 5k is on this road, so this could well be the, the 450 now. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, it could get a bit twistier now, because my ass is going numb already. Uh, Ian was just explaining to me that he was feeling the least painful he's felt so far yesterday, or this morning waking up. Because if you're just joining us late on in this little trip, it's important to remember that Ian is on the wrong bike because his bike was written off two days before the trip started after some dickhead rammed him off of it at a junction and smashed it to pieces, knocked Ian on the floor and boshed his hip on the ground. So hats off to you, Ian, for still being on this trip and making it all the way to Hamburg two days after having your bike on the floor in bits. Oh, here we go. Now it's getting bendy. Look at that. It's awesome when it comes straight off the junction and goes into twistiness. Oh, look at those waterfalls up there. See that? Oh, traffic. Oh, Jesus, gridlock. We're never gonna get to the front of this queue. Look at that. 20 degrees now, despite the water, but still lots of vintage going on. I'm nice and this is comfortable. This is good. Considering I've got my Outlast trousers on underneath these as well, the Outlast base layer. <laughs> what was that? And you don't need that because of your hairy legs. Your homemade merino trousers. mer ian ho ho The jokes just don't get any better, do they? My, what a bushy thatch you have. I realise one thing that we do, which is a bit of an error, when whenever we have a break, we get off the bikes and then sit on some kind of picnic bench or rock or whatever. So we sit on our asses on something even harder than the motorbike seat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We should probably do that again. Have a nice lay down in a soft meadow. <laughs> if only everybody could hear the shite coming out of your mouth. Ian is uh, recanting some finest Mills and Boone after the, the triggering mention of a soft meadow. <laughs> I could feel it hard as he pressed against my leg. His wallet was massive. <laughs> oh, that's a classic. Oh, thank you. Oh, the people up here, they really are lovely. Or they just hate us so much they want us out of their lives. I'm going to go with the lovely thing. I think they're just lovely. This is a pleasant, oh Jesus, that wasn't pleasant. 
Oh, oh that was a, another spine shortener. Whew. Yeah, this is a pleasant cruising speed, isn't it? It's, it's fast enough that we're making some progress, but slow enough that we can see everything without too much danger of running into a sheep. Suspension is getting a workout on this road, though. Uh, meh. Oh, that's a good idea. Get me spine moving again. I'll do my exercises, my Pilates stuff. Bit of cat cow, bit of side stretch, get some mermaid on the go. Oh, steep downhill, 12%. I say, dear, let's have a little break next to this skip, shall we? I love the smell of garbage in the morning. Smells like thrown out ass. Wow, look at that down there to the right. Looks like we found our second fjord. Wow. They like to hide their electric. <laughs> oh, hydroelectric. Well, oh, this is good thrispin territory now, isn't it? Oh, except for that bit. Oh, okay, left turn, 130 meters. Heading up to Mo. One man went to Mo, went to Mo, a meadow. One man, two man, two motorbikes, and a bunch of cameras and some other stuff. Went to Moe Meadow. Wop! It's sorting the old arse out though, getting some blood back in there. Do 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 do, do 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 do. You've gone green. Oh, what, the camera? Oh, should we find a nice spot for a tea break? Look at that. Oh, we could even have a little tea break here, couldn't we? Look how nice this is. Right, sod it. I'm going in. All right, maybe not. But look at this. This country literally has it all, doesn't it? Oh, well, there we go. Thank you, Lake by Mo, for a wonderful lunch stop. Hardened biker's lunch of a muesli bar and a gob full of water. Let's see if I can stack it behind you now or push you over or worse. Yeah, absolutely astonishing that this place is so beautiful, yet so empty. Incredible. That was a real find, that, wasn't it? We would have been happy if it was a shed, but for it to be a, a picnic area with a lake and, a, and an actual toilet, although it was just a hole in the floor with a massive pile of shit underneath it, that was hideous. But still, needs must. It's not like I needed to reach in there for anything. But yeah, there we go, 100 k's left to go, halfway through the day. Well, no, over halfway. It was a 260 k total, but we added an extra 20 where I dropped my bike. What a plonker. So yeah, 100 k's to go, and then that's it for today, so. Should be arriving just after four. Perfect timing, I'd say. Hopefully camping out in a cabin, obviously. Cabin camping next to yet another fjord. The second or third, if you count the one we saw earlier on. The fjord collecting is rife. <laughs> well, I don't mean to cast aspersions, but those adverts are tailored to you, Ian. It's uh, so funny how your priorities change. Like we're blasting through a beautiful Espen chicane next to a massive lake in gorgeous Norway, and you're talking about dental glue and Instagram ads. <laughs> that is stiller than a still thing. Well, that gets tight. Oh, hello. Where have you been all my life? Because 
a wonderful consistency in this uh, fish tailing going on here. This is incredible. It's nice and wide as well. That's what she said. Super wriggly and nice and wide, just like I like it. The accelerations out of the corners are always a little bit frustrating, aren't they? When you, you go, wop, wop, oh, I've reached the speed limit. Good for the fuel economy though, which is nice when the fuel is 4,000 euros a litre. Did you happen to see what number this road was? Because this is splendicious. What number the road is? Uh, I think we came off that, didn't we? Yeah, I'll put the number of the, the road up on the screen because this is something that needs to be shared. Camber's a bit tasty on these downhill right-hand turns though, isn't it? That camber's passed its sell-by date. It's well off. Yeah, so there you go, it's the road to mow. We're on the road to mow where. Okay, he hasn't made much progress, has he? Smells glorious. Smells of older, better times. 400 meters right turn. Ooh, in there? Apparently it is. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, no, that's it. All right. You burn. We're going to see the scooter guy go in the other way and confuse him. Right, there you go. There's the statutory U-turn. Oh, he's going faster than we thought. Hiya, Wegen. Hiya. Oh, this is a much better view than on that, that long road. The big, wide, fat one. It's another bit you'd expect to see a bear fishing his salmon out. <laughs> I don't think we need to talk about the size of the bear's rod. <laughs> Do you know what? What happens if we then now suddenly go back onto the main road? I don't think so. I think this is a different one, isn't it, surely? It looks similar, though. <coughs> Never mind. Oh, we've got company and they're, they're going faster than us. Because I hate it when bikers follow you on roads like this because you're limited by the speed limit. And it's when you get on the twisties that you can actually try and get away from them. Oh, there you go. <coughs> Speed limits? Who cares about speed limits? Oh, so they're, they're apparently not together. Or he respects his license. Such noisy pipes as well. Yeah, it wouldn't be European with cans like that. This looks like a, like a golf course. Like a really oversized golf course with the little greens and the little islands there. Oh, you just have to do a 4,000 meter drive to get onto the green there. Excuse me, caddy, pass me the 50 cal. Well, look at that, 55 kilometers to our final destination tonight, the place where all the wildly popular children's stories come from, Roldal. Never realized that all those stories, Matilda, the witches, the BFG, all written by a little Norwegian town. Assuming that the angle's still the same, it's really good. Like I was originally planning, uh, maybe I will still, I was planning to switch between helmet and chest. That's what she said. Look at that. It's incredible that there's snow and it's what, 25 degrees, 23 degrees or whatever, and it's in the sun. Madness. That's the good thing about these 360 cameras is that with this one being fixed, if I do a, oh, look at this and look at that and look at something else, I can use this camera to look at it. It's just a bit more, a little bit more work. But the, the real benefit is that not having a camera on the helmet means my helmet is so much lighter, I don't get neck ache. And also when I flip the visor up with a camera on it, it pulls my head forward. On the side is the most comfortable, but for my taste, the uh, the chin mount is the best looking view. Because I, pr I prefer not to have too much helmet in my shots. I like to keep my helmet private. But for the viewers at home, 
Let me know what you think. What do you prefer, the, the helmet-mounted camera or the chest-mounted camera? Because ultimately, the video has to be good to look at. So what do you want to look at? Don't tell me wheelies and boobs. I mean, I could potentially try and do something with wheelies and boobs, but I'm going to have to subcontract. <laughs> I'd probably get arrested just for the advert. Uh, can you do wheelies? Uh, yes. Do you have boobs? Yes, I'm afraid I'm going to need to see all three. Imagine that first motor vlogger being dragged into the Me Too movement. What are you in for? Well, I was interviewing some girl to do the uh, wheelies and boobs section of my videos. And obviously I had to do it from the pillion position and I couldn't find the grab rails. I can suddenly understand why there's snow now because it's a lot colder. Oh, hello. So what is that now, 19? The, the temperature's dropped by three degrees. I was trying to think of a three degree song and I couldn't. Is that even a band? Or am I thinking of the four tops? <laughs> oh, there was a three degrees, okay. Five points for Gryffindor if you can name one of their songs. No, I don't think they wrote a song called GTR. Oh, the bike, yeah, oh, oh, okay, okay. Do you miss it? So do you miss all your bikes because they were all taken away from you by force? But do you have any bikes where the other one's gone for whatever reason? and then you prefer the one that you've got instead. Like, did you prefer the Honda VFR 1200 over the Kawasaki GTR 1400? <laughs> so what you're saying ultimately is the GTR had way more grunt, was way more comfortable, but the Honda, I don't know, what, what was good about the Honda? <laughs> the V4. Yeah, see, I've still never ridden, ridden a V4. It's on my list to, to finally get on one at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the single-sided swig arm is a big plus, isn't it? I really like that. Just Not just from the looks, but from working on the back end is, is so much easier. The fact you don't have to... Uh, no, uh, stand by. <laughs> I don't want to hear about you working on your back end. Working on the, on the back end, like taking the wheel off and getting tyres fitted and stuff, is so much easier because you don't have to worry about messing with the chain or the brakes. Just pop the wheel off and go, it's brilliant. Oh, hello, it's a detour. That road's closed. Oh no, we're going that way anyway, that's on the route. Ah, it's because of the tunnel, look. Maybe the tunnel's closed. Yeah, so we were going this way because this is the scenic route. This is one of those, the tunnel goes under the hill and goes in a straight line. This scenic route goes up through the hills. So I obviously planned in the scenic route on purpose, but didn't realize that every Tom, Dick and his dog's Harry was gonna be up here as well. So pull around the front, so away from the, the madding crowd, get a nice picture off the uh, edge of the water. Far from the madding crowd. See so if I can drop my bike in the water now.
Andy, for whatever reason no, only known to Andy, has whipped the bike right down by the, um, the seafront and um, oh, he's going to take a selfie for a family. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? And so um, I'm here now waiting, waiting to see if he makes another faux pas and, um, well, this looks like it's a, a disaster waiting to happen. If they're all going to get on that big rock. Go on, Andy. Don't laugh if they all fall in. Oh, yeah, Dad's looking a bit wobbly on the left. They're making the best of it. Oh, Andy's doing his um, video videography um, motor vlogger thing. Oh, look, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, God, he, he, every opportunity, isn't he? Anyway, uh, I'm just here to see what happens when he gets his kit on and wants to turn this round. And when I should go and help him, or whether I will. So, uh, here I am waiting to see if anything happens. Obviously, if nothing happens, it'll be an anticlimax. Uh, not wishing anything to go wrong, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't have taken mine down there. Chance of me getting that off there is virtually zero. Oh, look, he's learning, isn't he? Three, four times now. He's put his coat on before his braces. He's just realised what I'm doing. Ah, look, there he goes, braces on. Yeah, there you go. He showed me that chopper. It is a comedy moment every time he does it, because I'm new to the land of rocker. Um, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite with the braces, actually. I was used to think when I saw people wearing them in the past. <sighs> what the heck are they doing? I'm converted now. A bit like it in my life, but I'm converted. I have to get some from my jeans and wear them on the outside, like I've seen some Europeans do. Oh, there he goes. I think he's going to get on from the wrong side as well, is he? There it is, just where I left it. Oh, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to find it in this parking lot. Parking lot? Never said parking lot in my life. Right, Let's see if I can get this thing back off without dropping it in the fjord. Because I couldn't afford the repair. <laughs> Are you sure I can't give you a tug? <laughs> no tugging going on here, eh? Well, that was a lovely stop. Very scenic, very nice. Lots of snow in the background and the parking facilities were wonderful. <laughs> I did miss the ferry, sadly, yeah. But there was another one there, but uh, it looked like it wasn't going anywhere. That's proper nice, that is, proper nice. But yeah, we, we met some very lovely Norwegians there in the camper van, just reinforcing my opinions that Norwegians are just bloody lovely people. But then again, if I lived somewhere like this, I think I'd be bloody lovely. As it is, I live in Hamburg, so I'm an horrible grumpy. Oh, you're from England, so you're just lucky that everything, everything's working. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, yes, absolutely, I do apologize. Of course, yeah, because you're all Scottish, aren't you? Look at the wee waterfall to the right there. Somebody's left the tap on, it's filling up the sink. Oh dear, this bunch of traffic tells me that perhaps there's another roadwork situation ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that bit in Glencoe, isn't it? Isn't that where you scattered your mammy? You scattered your mammy on a windy day and she still got a little bit in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> She's all over the place. <laughs> That's what she would have wanted. <laughs> oh yeah, there is that. I'm sure she would have preferred to live. <laughs> what was that? It was difficult to get her into the incinerator. <laughs> Come on, Mammy! It's your time! Is he waving us through? Yeah, he is. He's waving us through. What a legend. Thank you so very much, mate. Obviously knows that he doesn't want us sitting there in the, in the sun, baking our little knobblies off. Oh, bloody hell, look at it snaking up the road there. That's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, we'd have been at the front, wouldn't we? We were screaming with joy about our triumph and it turns out we got the worst end of the stick. Coming through. Oh, what, what a lovely, lovely guy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's a caravan here. That's wider than my house, that is. Oh, I don't have a house, so of course it is. What a lovely road, though. I don't think I'm going to get past this dude, not without being dangerous. Danger used to be my middle name, and then I got married and old. Uh, in that order. <laughs> oh, we got traffic now oh this is that's a winner that is everybody stopped collect them up collect them up while they're up at a respectable and conscientious speed oh we're nearly at the front just as we get to the end of the roadworks <laughs> yeah 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 it is a long tunnel i think the the longest 
I was going to about to say underground tunnel, but it's, if it's not underground, it's not really a tunnel, is it? But the, uh, the longest tunnel in the world is in Norway, as far as I know. It's the Leerdal Pass, I think. But yeah, well, they've been waiting a while. They've had their helmets off. Flame on! Ooh, that's chilly. Oh, bloody hell, I think my camera's going to be out of line now because my nipples are pushing it out. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Yeah, before we went in the tunnel there, Ian was just saying that the most incredible thing about this area, about Norway so far, is that it just goes on and on. Like when you go anywhere else in the in Europe or in the world, I guess, you just you get the scenic bit, you get the mountain pass, and then it goes back to normal again. You, you stop and take your pictures and stuff. But here, it's just you go around the corner and there's another thing that just looks more incredible than the last. I mean, look at this. This is insane. You see the road snaking around down the bottom there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. We are in biker's paradise. Well, even without a bike, this is pretty para paradisical. Paradisical. I did make a word up there. Right. Wow. You see the water through there? I think that's where we're staying tonight. According to my little gaugey gauge, we are very nearly there. I think at the bottom of this hill is home for the night. At the witch's tavern where Matilda is the, the landlady and the BFG is the barman. And then the gardening's done by the twits. What an absolute shame though that we have to stay here tonight. I mean, after what we had to put up with last night. Oh, the things we do for you at home. It is a lot bigger than the place we stayed yesterday. I guess that's what happens when it's not a dead end. Look at that. There's the supermarket. <laughs> you reckon? You reckon in England they'd have stole the lead off that church? Because that's why they haven't stole, stolen the lead off that church. Look at all the cameras. That is that is watched. But if you, you go in there for a second, swat will be on your ass. Surprise, that's what we've got. And we have arrived at bed for the night. Yeah, I think that's this little hut here, so... I'll go and see if that's getting checked in. <laughs> that was it. Our reception's that way. So where you are, right? I was just about to walk in there. Hello, I've got a cabin booked. I don't think it's this one, mate. <laughs> How about you sling it before you get one in the chops? Oh, yeah, look, there it is there, look. <laughs> that was almost a very embarrassing faux pas. <laughs> oh, Flonka just started charging. Hello there. Hello there. Are you the motorcycle missus? I am whatever you want me to be. We're in. 66.50. So it's not quite take the zero off, because 750 is 66 quid, so it's take the zero off for me. But if you work on that assumption, then everything will be cheaper than you thought it was. Yeah. Uh, I'm not wearing my helmet. Isn't that next on the list for bikers as the dangerous words? Like, just watch this, and then uh, I'm not wearing my helmet. Here we go, we're in. Oh, I thought it was a... Uh... Nine's for the six is falling down to make a nine. Because this cabin, in the scale of how it goes, first one was of the quality that's survivable. Last night was really nice. This is off OTF. Oh, uh, really? OTS, sorry. Off the scale. Nice. So, welcome to MTV Cribs. This is another absolute win on the Norway trip. Um, double beds. We'll deal with that later, but we've got a big, big kitchen area. Beautiful little balcony with a view up the fjord. There's, there is water over there. Big bathroom. Ian is in there rinsing his knackers as we speak. And the usual YouTubist nonsense. Everything charging over here. Even more stuff charging over here. Most importantly, that view. And those hills which we're going to be hammering up again tomorrow after an amazing day of hammering around them today. Norway, if you haven't been there, this place is a biker's paradise. Who put that door there? <laughs> 